Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting. And as you can see, it's pay dirt review time. This is from Peace of Montana, an Amazon seller, and this is their two pound Grasshopper Creek Gold Rich Pay dirt. Now it's got no guaranteed gold in it, but they do state they add gold. So it's got no guaranteed amount, but they do state they add gold. It's supposed to be two pounds, so let's weigh it up. It's in a, this is in a coffee bag. These are the type of bags you use for freezing food where you suck all the air out, whatever those are called. So there's one pound, 15.9 ounces. I'm gonna call it okay because the scale can be off by that much. I mean, I'm not gonna throw a fit about the 0.1. Even though the bag does weigh something, I still think it's relatively close. That I'm not going to complain about that. That's so close, I'm not going to complain about it. So let me read you the description of this. It's two pounds of Grasshopper Creek, Bannock Mountain Pater, extra gold added to sweeten the deal, fun learning experience for the gold enthusiast, a little piece of Montana in every bag. Two pounds of Pater from Grasshopper Creek located by Bannock Ghost Town in Montana. And by the way, that's the thumbnail in the picture. If you're watching this, that's the thumbnail. It was from the Bannock Ghost Town. This dirt is pay dirt from a little claim on Grasshopper Creek that I've been mining. I'm not sure the amount of gold in every bag, so I add gold to sweeten the deal. The gold I add comes directly from the claim you're getting the pay dirt from. You may find flour, flakes, little nuggets, or big gold nuggets in the dirt, as I don't look through it before I package it and ship it. This pay dirt is great for the hobbyist that can make it out of Montana and makes a great gift for the gold enthusiast that just wants to pan some pay dirt. It's also great for the beginner to learn how to pan correctly. I'll include, include a short paper on how to pan for gold. Now, I have to say, I don't know if it came with a little slip. This was reshipped to me, and I'm assuming it did have a how to pan for gold sheet of paper because that's not something I don't think a seller would forget. They would forget to put gold in, things like that. But this was reshipped to me, so I'm sure it got lost somewhere in the translation, but it does probably include that. And then I did contact the seller, and he was really quick to reply. He replied to me within 24 hours, so it was really quick. Lately, Amazon sellers have been really quick about their <laughs> replies. So I did ask him one of his feedback he had on Amazon was that they found no gold. So I did ask him about that, and these are all of the answers he told me in my questions. I add gold to every bag, so when someone says they didn't find any gold, they didn't look. The gold is not small, little flakes, but chunky or flat taps. It's not the shiny stuff that's been buffed and cleaned. It's the real gold found in the area so it doesn't look shiny and sparkly. There's plenty black sand in the dirt, so if there's black sand in the bottom of your pan, you'll find the gold under the black sand. Uh, always add enough gold to make for an exciting experience. You never, it's never a set amount of gold added, but I assure you there is gold in every bag. Because one of the questions I do ask anyone that Anytime a seller doesn't say a specific amount of gold where they just say, oh, we add gold, I always ask them if there's a specific amount they add. Because a lot of sellers do do that. They might not want to tell you, but they might add a tenth of a gram. And they don't want to tell you that because then you'll be able to calculate your ROI and figure out, oh, this isn't a very good bag. Now, I'm not saying this is in this case. I don't know what he added to this. But I do know a lot of sellers are like that, where they add a very specific amount. It might vary a little. They might say... I'm going to add 0 0.1 to 0 0.15, but they do always add. There's very few sellers that don't make any claims where they just say, oh, I add, where they just randomly throw in gold. Nobody's going to do that because otherwise they can say, oh, what happened to an ounce of gold? Oh, I must have threw it in a bag of paid or oops. That doesn't happen. They have to calculate and make sure they're profitable. So I always ask that question. I've never gotten an answer from anyone that's saying a specific amount. Nobody's ever told me, oh, I add this much, this much. I always just say, I add enough. So that's what he said. He just adds a little bit. So let's classify this down. I'm going to let you listen to some music and see what we get here.
Okay. First, let me say this material. I mean, I want to say it's damp, but it's if it is, it's very, very slightly damp. It's just fairly damp. So it was a little bit of a pain to classify. So there might end up being some smaller gold in here, so minus 40 gold as opposed to it all being here. Now for size with the classifications, as you can see, it's not too bad. It seems to mostly be in these two classifications, the plus 10 and then the minus 20 plus 40, with just a little bit less in both of these. So I think this was probably just a little messed up because this did not want to go through my classifier very easily. But again, I said, it's seems damp but like it's like one hour for if i sat this out left this out for an hour i think it would be dry just being in that bag it's probably just for humidity or something like that i don't think he put it in there wet so all that's left is for me to go get the gold out but before i do that i do need to give a big shout out to Corey silva he's the one that ordered this for me he bought this off of amazon and just decided on a whim to ship it to me he said he had i think he ordered two of them i don't remember the circumstances but he emailed me and said he had an extra bag of paper and if I wanted it. So I've got to thank him. So Corey Silver, thank you very much. Everyone else, thank Corey Silver. It's because of him that this review is possible. So I'm going to go find out what gold's in here now. So be right back. Well, I'll finish panning it out. And that was fairly easy material to pan out. It is very similar to sand. And I'm sure it was just in a sandy area. But let's find out how much gold I got in the plus 10. Oh, and before I show you the gold, I know, I forgot the magnet. Uh, the curse. Finally broken in 2019. This, the magnet got me this video. So, there was very little black sands in this, especially magnetite. It was an extremely small amount, less than an eighth of a teaspoon. There wouldn't have been much to show you on this. So it's, I don't feel too bad that I forgot to use it, but I did forget to use it. Okay, now to the gold. In the plus 10, I didn't find anything. Nothing there. In the minus 10 plus 20, I did find some gold. Three pieces to be exact, so not too bad. Pretty happy with that. Zoom in on it, show you that. So, pretty happy with that. In the minus 10 plus 20. In the minus 20 plus 40, I found even more gold. About, probably 50 to 60 piece range. I'll zoom you in. Oops. show you that that was pretty nice and then in the minus 40 even more gold a nice little bit right there so that might even budge the scale so i'll be curious all right so i'm gonna put this in boats let you listen to some more music and weigh it up Okay, finish that all up. Now let's weigh it up in the minus 10 plus 20. I have, zoom in on it, 0 0.110. In the minus 20 plus 40. Zero point zero eight five, and then in the minus twenty 
minus 40. This looks like it might budget. Huh? 0.024, but let's just weigh it all up and see what the total is. So 0 0.224, I'm gonna call it at that, and I'm gonna be right back with my ROI and my review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get to it. This again was from Pisa, Montana, an Amazon seller. It was his two pound grasshopper creek bag. It had no guaranteed amount of gold, but they did state they add gold. Its cost was $23.99, shipping was free, so total cost $23.99. Gold recovered right here, 0 0.244 grams. Gold spot on the day it was received was $42.11. So this here's gold is worth $10.27, making my ROI 42.81% or on my scale a 4.3 so for fun factor I'm gonna give it a 6 I bumped it a little bit up a little bit just because it is really chunky gold it's not that super clean gold like they mentioned in their reply to me in the customer service and even though you can't really see it if you look at it with really closely it is kind of it's flat but it is chunky flat so and it's really rough and that was the main thing so I upped it up a little bit for that and plus there was a lot of finer material which makes me think it's real pay dirt so I upped it up to a six for pay dirt description I'm gonna give them an eight it's got a pretty good description it's actually got a really good description considering it's on Amazon which is notorious for having really bad descriptions on there for pay dirt so it was really good for that for quantity and packaging it was two pounds it was so close I'm gonna call it two pounds and the bag was an eight because it was, you know, the little coffee bag-ish, uh, flavor seal bags, whatever you want to call them. It's an eight for that. So total for pater quantity and packaging is a nine. For customer service and shipping, a 10 for both. The shipping was extremely quick. It did ship through Amazon. But when I asked him a question, he did reply within 24 hours. So total score for Pisa Montana is a 7.5, which is really good for an Amazon seller. And I will say this, and I say this in almost all my Amazon videos, Amazon has horrendous fees, something like 30%, 25%, 35%. You know, if you go on eBay, eBay, they're paying 10% to eBay. And when you start paying 25% to Amazon, that extra 15% has to come from somewhere. And we all know where it's coming from. So getting a 7.5 is really good from an Amazon seller. So I was really happy with it. I mean, you're not going to get a really high ROI on Amazon sellers. So 42% is pretty good. And I was pretty happy with it overall. So 7.5. Now all that's left is to give away the 24 karat gold plated dime. So I'm going to flash up the score for Pisa Montana right here. Now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime giveaway winner. It's going to be, of course, Corey Silva. Since he sent me this painter to go through, I'm going to have to send him the gold plated dime. So, Corey, I will email you. I don't need you to email me. I will email you, ask for your address, and send you something off. So, everyone else, thanks for watching and happy panning.